Hi beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Simply Esri. My name is Esri and I am so excited to see you here. With the spring season having rolled around, I figured it's the perfect time for me to share a few skincare tips that I follow often. If you want to hear more, be sure to stay tuned. My number one, number one, that one, numero uno tip is to drink water. If there's any skincare tip that you should ever follow, that is to drink water. As of recent, so for about a month and a half, I have set myself with a target goal of drinking up to a gallon of water a day. At the very least, I will drink up to two liters of water a day. The benefits that I've seen to my skin from just drinking water, I was almost going to say as much water as I can, which isn't a lot, I guess, but the benefits that I've seen to my skin from just drinking water are astounding. My skin is so clear. The tone is nice and even, and it's like there's a glow from within. So the number one tip I would give anyone following or trying to follow a skincare journey is to drink water. The next skincare tip that I personally follow is to get enough sleep. This year, I committed myself to getting at least seven hours of sleep each night. The benefits that I've received as a result of this were instant. I don't look dehydrated or worn out. I don't get under eye bags anymore. Um, I feel like my skin literally is glowing because it's had the time to rejuvenate because of the rest that I'm getting. And the combination of consuming enough water and getting enough sleep alone to my skin, I've noticed a dramatic difference. The extra benefit is that I feel like whatever wrinkles that I did have are diminishing again because my body has had enough time to rejuvenate during my sleeping hours. The skincare tip that I'm about to share with you, I've literally uh, the skincare tip that I'm about to share with you, I've literally been doing for the past two months consistently. I will not lie, it was actually difficult for me to do but I'm on a good track and I'm going to stay here because I have seen the benefits. And this tip is to cut back on sugar. Yes. I honestly didn't think that this would be hard for me to do, but I forgot to take into consideration that I enjoy consuming coffee. <laughs> so um, yes, cutting back on sugar was actually difficult, but in the long run, it has been beneficial. I cut back on sugar and noticed that it did contribute to the clarity in my skin. For some reason, I've also noticed that my pores seem to be a little bit smaller since I've cut back on sugar. In order to satisfy my sugar cravings, I've switched from white sugar to agave. With that being said, I don't consume much agave, and that is a natural sweetener for those that do not know that. Generally, I'll just get a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of agave to put into my tea or coffee every day. So again, I would suggest to consume less sugar wherever possible to contribute to clear skin. Another tip that I would suggest is to eat well-balanced meals. This is a no-brainer. Give your body the minerals, vitamins, and nutrients it needs to thrive. When you do that, you will see the benefits literally from the inside out. 
Personally, I've made a conscious decision or effort, shall I say, to consume more dark leafy greens such as kale, spinach, and my favorite, collard greens. Um, because supposedly those are rich in minerals and nutrients and your skin just loves that type of stuff. And I do notice um, a difference, of course, by eating that. Wash your hands. I know this sounds simple, but roll with me. Before washing your face, wash your hands. This is something that, again, I follow religiously. I wash my hands before I wash my face. It makes no sense in washing my face with hands that n have not been cleansed and then putting all that germ and bacteria. No, don't do that. So don't forget to wash your hands before you wash your face. Wear sunscreen. Regardless of your complexion, I personally feel that it's extremely important to protect your skin from the harmful rays of the sun. I wear sunscreen religiously every day. It could be the summer, it could be the winter, it doesn't matter, I do apply sunscreen. I personally wear mine with at least SPF 50. So yeah, beauties, those are the tips that I follow religiously in order to maintain and encourage smooth, flawless, skin to the best of my ability. Let me know in the comment section down below what tips do you follow to maintain clear skin. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. Take care and see you soon.